the initial reaction was overcoming the feelings of being told, well, you're just not good enough as a group. You're not making the kind of progress we want to see. So once you get past that, and now that I'm learning what's involved in this grant, I'm excited. It's not everybody's out to get me <laughs> kind of thing. Get all of us as teachers. They're not out to get us, they're out to help us. I want to see the picture of what it looks like before I get there. And I think that's been really hard because it looks like we're writing script as we go. I want it to work. But on the other hand, I'm also going to look at it as, is this just another thing we're going to have to jump through? Most of us knew. I think there's some apprehension along the way, but like I said, I'm a little more comfortable with change. This was going to be an opportunity for our kids to possibly bridge that gap and um, have the opportunities to go on and, and, and have bigger dreams. drastic change. Everything is happening so fast, we're getting stressed over that. It feels like we're making it up as we go along. I mean, you know, not having a clear road map of where we want to be is a little frustrating. Involved with coaches and breaking down dibbles, um, unpacking standards, and so no, at this point, I don't think there's time to collaborate. Pulling myself out of the classroom is the hardest part. It's very rare in teaching that you have a person in your classroom who's not there to evaluate you. On the contrary, is there as a resource, and I can ask this person, well, you know, you saw what happened just now. How can I speed up that transition? How can I teach that concept better so that more students are engaged, more students are understanding? You don't get that immediate feedback. The eagle is Mo Canoops. Can you say Mo Canoops? Mo I'm pretty excited about the openness and addressing the points and there's a few aha moments I'm having a few and you know it's it's a willing to sit down listen build that cohesive teamwork it's not money that makes information stick it's the style and how you present the information this process I hope uh, does that for us makes the change. I really don't know where the money is going. Um, I know it's going to trainings, but beyond that, I'm not really sure besides a new principal. We agree, we know we need to change, and so there's a high accountability piece, not just from the state and from the government, but personally, you know, to succeed. So smudging is a way people use to kind of uh, prepare themselves. Some people would smudge because they still believe that in this world, there's good spirits and bad spirits. Smudging helps us think about good thoughts, Smudging helps us to see good things. Smudging helps us to say good things come out of our mouth. Smudging helps us feel the things in our heart. I see people being a little bit more open and you know, making the extra effort to, you know, seek people out. If you have buy-in from the teachers, you still have to have buy-in from the community. I think in this atmosphere, to be afraid of change and to not take advantage of the opportunity we have is ridiculous. I think my hopes and dreams are that um, we can, as a staff, actually reach out to our students. And with all this training, we've really, we've had training, but not hardcore like this, and hopefully it will pay off for our kids. I think the end of the journey is going to be fantastic and we're going to be a fantastic school. It's a good journey and it's great work and so as we get ready for Mr. Mose, you want to kind of give directions for the friendship dance? Or... Yeah.